Welcome to a new kind of of experience, a new stream. It's Hi, my about- name is Jojo, and I'm here too. Who are you, and how did you get into my house? I robbed your door. You did off its hinges. You did, which actually it's not even a lie. I have done that in the past. You have. I think I helped you because that's how you got the fridge in. I thought it was really funny actually. Whenever we did need to um uh get the fridge into the house yeah. because like you were you were very kind and and very helpful at like you know helping us figure <laughs> out the space but it definitely was like you were very much just kind of watching us do it which is fine you know <laughs> i don't think that's all you know i'm not like gonna get on your case for it or whatever i think i say. came i came in with the brains okay you guys got that up the last step because of me <laughs> We're doing this as a kind of like Halloween special, right? Correct. Yeah. So what are you afraid of? Like actually or like like a joke, you know, like a, like a- <laughs> <laughs> What are you I mean, what kind of joke are you going to say women? You're going to say women. <laughs> no, <aren't> <laughs> I wouldn't no, no way. If anything it's men, but uh, <laughs> like a like a real deep like fear of mine is like forgetting you know like when you grow old and Mm. you like actually start forgetting okay things you know whether it's you know you're getting old you're just naturally forgetting things or if it's like actually some type of you know yeah thing that's disease is that your greatest fear would you say yeah no that's that's my number one Mm -hmm. fear of all time yeah next up after that is uh cockroaches spiders (laughs) (laughs) so i've i've had uh four five cockroaches in my house and four of those have been in my house in the past like two months so back to back cockroaches is just like stabbing me in the heart over and over yeah to the point that i've considered just moving out purely because of that (laughs) i could have sworn like right before twitchcon was when i got like the most cockroaches And I could have sworn I was going to come back from TwitchCon and my house was going to be taken over. Like, game over, I would have found cockroaches left and right. Uh, Luckily, came back, not a single cockroach to be seen. I haven't seen anything since. And when I was at TwitchCon, I was literally, like, looking for exterminators to break my walls and look through to see where the hell they're coming from. Uh, But luckily, they disappeared over TwitchCon. So, um... They're either reproducing or um, it's over. What is a cockroach's favorite thing? Like, I don't know. What do they subsist? Have you done the research I've, on the, like what attracts them? Or is it just like food? Well, you I know, think the main people. thing was like weather, right? Oh, okay. Because like, I don't think they really care too much about like being in my life. And <laughs> 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 they care about you emotionally, Jojo. <laughs> They're here to support you. I need someone. They don't deserve my house. They're not paying rent. Why should they stay there? Exactly. You know? They they put they brought themselves into your life and mm-hmm. are causing you stress. Exactly. Just by being and existing. Being and existing. I'm sure, you know, they're just su- trying to support their families no. inside of your home and no. everything. And- Kill those families. <laughs> Cockroach families, guys. God. Come on. It's not real. Whoa. <laughs> if it makes you feel yeah. any better, um, after proceeding to kill a cockroach, I do throw them outside for the rest of nature to eat it as it's dead for, you know, ants to enjoy that meal or, well, they'll also probably die because there's raid all over that cockroach. But... <laughs> <laughs> I dug myself I into a hole. Like, I was like, oh my god. I was coming around on it too. I was like, wow, Jojo, Jojo has really changed my mind about this whole thing with the the circle of life and you know, everybody's gotta eat, and then there's like fucking poison. The cockroach's corpse is doused in it's just not my pure fault. poison. I think that you know, if you're under the influence of something, you could almost even grow an affection for something that y- you are afraid of. I think maybe have you, you have you grown an affection to something well under the influence. I mean, there was like so there was one time where I was really where I was really drunk and um, and I needed and I don't I don't I also don't like like 
flying bugs or yeah. like any, especially flying bugs, like right. when they get all up in your face. Uh, and there was a moth in my house. I was really drunk. I needed to go to the bathroom. And I, um, I saw in the toilet bowl of uh, my toilet, there was a moth there. And I was like, he's just trying to live <laughs> just like me. <laughs> so I just sat on the toilet <laughs> and I pooped with the moth in the toilet bowl. <laughs> and, and I... And nothing happened, you know, everything was fine. And I, I honestly, even after the experience, like I looked at the moth and before I flushed the toilet, I said, get out of here, moth, you know, like I got him out of the toilet bowl and everything. Cause yeah. I, I, I felt like that was a bonding experience that we had. Yeah. I even like, I was so drunk that I like left a piece of pizza out on my like carpet hallway oh, wow. overnight to, wow. to try to and feed it, to try and feed it. And then I woke up the next morning. I was like, why the fuck is there a piece of pizza in the hallway? <laughs> Side question. Would you yeah. rather drown or burn to death? Wow. No, that's a terrible question. I didn't like that. Uh, <laughs> burn or drown? I think probably, well, I think there's like a science to it, isn't there? Like, like when it? you're drowning, like. You can drown, but like you're still alive, but like you just can't do anything until you're like dead, dead or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I might have made that up. I I mean, you, there's definitely water in your lungs. Yeah. You definitely feel that. Yeah. And then you die. So yeah. is wait, <laughs> are you saying that this study says you're alive until you die? Is this what this study says? <laughs> what, what articles are you reading, Joe? I don't read what articles. articles. It's probably a TikTok. I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather drown, I mm -hmm. guess. Because like if you're burning up, you feel it. <laughs> if you're drowning, you're just like glug, glug, glug. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about right now? <laughs> well i've i've burned myself before i've opened you know the oven and touched the metal on accident with my bare hands oh yeah yeah i think i have a scar from, yeah. from doing that yeah it sucks it's awful so it happens like, instantly too. yeah yeah so like all over your body now well, I'd be dead pretty quick then. You know? <laughs> Look at all this fancy new set equipment that I brought. I bought mm -hmm. all of it's a tax write-off. Thanks, IRS. I'm also going to drink my this water. This cup is as well in the water. And, and, yeah. and then we're going to play a game, JoJo. Truth or dare? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've got some whiteboards here. <gasps> this is so much We're fun. going to draw... Halloween costumes and pitch them. Did you just make a penis? <laughs> you need to come up with a design for a Halloween costume and pitch it to me. It could be a bad design. It could be a good design. Okay. It could be anything. Come okay. up with design. And I'm, I'm pitching it like, like it's genuinely scary or and just pitch it however you want. The kid, the kids are going to wear it or okay. the, the adults. You could do like, I don't know, sexy among right. us or whatever. I don't know. Right. <laughs> right. Something like that. I'm yeah, picking yeah, up yeah. what you're putting down. Whatever, whatever your heart desires. Okay. I think mine's ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Give, it, give me the elevator pitch for it. I'll show everyone else right now. I don't know if they can properly see it with they the lighting. They can probably see that. Here's the pitch. So this is a um, masculine lesbian. Some of the key features is <laughs> um, sunglasses to be really, really cool because that's how we are. Um, there's a chain on the pants yeah just to you know show like hey fear me i'm awesome you know there's swag on the on the crew neck i see that you use the special kind of s yeah if we got the special s i mean um i don't know is that not what represents masculinity i'm not sure actually. that's pretty masculine yeah this is pretty this is pretty um 
like when you like cuff the like shirt over like the <laughs> neck there like you know i think that's i looked at this and i thought it was a frat boy costume no 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 it's just more masculine lesbian that's what i'm going for okay here. i think that children are probably going to go up to their parents and be like mommy mommy i want to be the masculine feminine <laughs> <laughs> the, the masculine lesbian <laughs> So this is my costume. It's a full body costume. Um, it's a shark. Have you ever wanted to feel what it feels like to be on the inside of a shark? Have you ever oh. wanted to be? Have you ever wanted to 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 be the be the guy? Have you ever wanted to be consumed before? Are you into that vor shit? Oh. Well, I have the costume for you. It actually goes both ways, uh, where this can be your arms, but so can these. Uh, and you just kind of bend your body around. Maybe this is where the head goes. Right. And, uh, you know, you're. it's not great for posture, for sure. Only the strongest man in, in, on earth could possibly do that. <laughs> could possibly hold up there. <laughs> bend their <laughs> legs in that way. I also have scary stories for us to read. Okay. Well, some... not really scary stories. More just Halloween stories. They're interesting. They're interesting. Are they oh. like, are they like low key real, like based on a true story type of thing? This one, I mean, yeah, yeah. They're like kind of low key real. I have, a, I have a few that you know we can read each. But um, yeah, no, I got a few stories for us. Look at how many words there are on this piece of paper. I haven't read this many words since like college. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the jack-o'-lantern story. Read by Jojo Solos. You need to get like a like Audio a stream deck jungle. here. <laughs> you need, oh, you need to get like a stream deck like over here and you control oh, yeah. it with your feet. Yeah, with and my then like, Yeah, and then like you can like trigger like audience clap soundtrack. As the story goes, several centuries ago in Ireland, there lived a drunk, drunkard, drunkard. How do you say that word? Drunkard. 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 What's a drunkard? It's a drunk man. It's a man who enjoys to be drunk. There lived a drunk man known as Stingy Jack. Stingy. <laughs> Is it stingy? <laughs> I thought stingy was with an I-E. Stingy. <laughs> stingy Jack. Is it not I-E? Stingy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have read Drunk Art and I was like, it's over. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I'm I might as well be it. reading it like this. <laughs> I'm here for it. He was known throughout the land as a deceiver or manipulator. Sounds like you. Even Satan had overheard the tale of Jack's evil deeds and silver tongue. What is this about? This is about the jack-o'-lanterns. This is the jack-o'-lantern story. Okay. <laughs> What's a silver tongue mean? It means that he's good at talking to people. It means he's There's like, an actual mean. Dude, yeah. I don't deserve to be reading this. He's got a silver <laughs> I'm going to make you read all of them now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go back and forth. I'm liking, I'm liking this more. Unconceived, unconvinced, and envious... Of the rumors, the devil went to find out for himself whether or not Jack lived up to his vile reputation. On a fateful night, Jack was drunk. That sounds like our Jack. Yeah, this is actually about him. Okay. This is, you Jack can Jivik, pronounce it Jivik if you want. Jack Jivik was drunk and wandering through the countryside at night when he came upon a body hanging on a tree branch on his cobblestone path. I know what cobblestone is, Minecraft. Um, the head of the body. <laughs> I don't want to say this word. Can you say this word? <laughs> I know how to say it. I know how to say it. I, know... <laughs> I feel like I'm three years old learning how to read. <laughs> The head of the body contorted and twisted to face Jack Jivik with wide, soulless eyes and a deranged grin on its face. 
Jack realized that this was his end. Satan had finally come to collect his malevolent soul. So Jack made a last request. He asked the devil to let him partake of a final drink before he departed to hell. What's up with men who are always like drunk, man? Just, gotcha. If you're gonna die, you, you know, you might yeah, as well, you know, I got it. might as well drink up. Go into hell like drunk. Yeah. You know, it's not as bad. That's not a good way to make a first impression, though. No, I, th not I at don't all. think so. No. A horrid cackling emerged from the twisted smile of the body, and the devil took shape in. from. Is that a typo? In from of him? In from of him? In from of him. <laughs> Are you... In from, in from of him. In... <laughs> the devil agreed, took Jack to the local tavern and supplied him with many alcoholic beverages. Upon quenching his thirst, Jack asked Satan to pay the tab for the ale. Jack convinced him to turn himself into a silver coin with which to pay the bartender and change back when he's not looking. Satan did so, impressed upon by Jack's unyielding nefarious tactics. Yes! Okay. Pretty good. Shrewdly. What does that mean? What are you... <laughs> Shrewdly? <laughs> this is where I am at the paper so far. We still have all of that to go. Jack stuck the now trans... Transmogrified? <laughs> Transmogrified. Yes, 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 yes. But like, what does it mean? Like, why is that a word? Well, so what I the mean, hell is transmogrified? You know, it's like... Transmogrified. <laughs> <laughs> Jack stuck the now transmogrified Satan into his pocket, which also contained a crucifix. The crucifix's presence kept the devil from escaping his form. Jack blackmailed Satan to agree to his demands. In exchange for his freedom, he had to spare Jack's soul for 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. That's like a stupid thing. Like, you might as well ask for, like, the rest of your life. Yeah, I know. It's short-term thinking from Jack. 10 years after the date Jack originally struck his deal, he naturally found himself once again in the, in the devil's presence. Jack happened upon a twisted hanging body on a tree branch as before, and he, he seemingly accepted that this time it was time to go to hell for good. Oh sevens. As Satan prepared to take him uh, to hell, Jack asked if he could have one apple to feed his starving belly. Foolishly, Satan once again agreed to this request. As he climbed up the branches of a nearby apple tree, Jack surrounded its base with crucifixes. Satan, frustrated at the fact that he had been entrapped again, demanded his release. As Jack did before, he made a second demand that he will never take his soul to hell. The Resistance. devil agreed and was set free. Boom, not even done, we're still going. Got this last <laughs> little, okay. Eventually the drinking took its toll on Jack and he died. Stingy Jack's soul prepared to enter heaven through the gates of St. Peter, but he was stopped. Jack was told by God that because of his sinful lifestyle of deceitfulness and drinking, he was not allowed into heaven. Jack then went down to the gates of hell and begged for admission into the underworld. Satan, fulfilling his obligation to Jack, could not take his soul. He gave Jack an ember to light his way. Jack is doomed to roam the world between the planes of good and evil with only an ember inside a ho hollowed turnip. The people of Ireland began carving faces out of turnips and <laughs> you knew this word was coming up, huh? <laughs> Go ahead. What's this word? I would love to hear you say it. I'm going to. Oh, my microphone. Um, I would probably say it like in a Spanish accent. Okay. When I don't know how to say things, I say it in a Spanish accent. All right. I'd say ru ruta bagas. <laughs> ruta bagas. 
I like Ruta, it. Ruta, Ruta, ba- Rutabaga. Rutabaga. A Rutabaga. Okay. Rutabaga. Like a Rutabagel. Rutabaga. Okay. Rutabaga. Yeah. To ward off. Rutabaga. <laughs> Ruta. That's what the. What even is that? Why don't they just say fucking pumpkins, dude? I know it's a pumpkin. Like literally, I'm here. I know it's a pumpkin. What do you mean turnip and rutabaga? <laughs> to ward off Jack's evil spirit. Boom, bam, boom. That puts like a kind of depressing thought into what a jack o' lantern is. Yeah, that's that's the story though. That's that's what they. That's and it's why real. We, that's why we make them. I would love to see your artist's interpretation of um of Jack. Oh, of stingy Jack. Oh, stingy I would Jack. I'd love to see. Okay, I got you. How you make stingy jack? I, oops, look. I just so happen to have a whiteboard and marker here to I know. visualize this for you. Great. Where did you even get that from? I, I mean, spawned it out of my ass. Oh, just like Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do mine first. Uh, okay. This is this is a uh, stingy jack. <laughs> it kind of looks like Jivik, doesn't it? It looks exactly like Jivik. Yeah, I made him a little chunkier because I feel like the more you drink, the more like beer belly you make. God damn. So you put a lot of effort into like the checkered the like, flannel. jacket. Yeah, the yeah, flannel the needed it. Yeah. That beer mug is huge. Uh no, that's a small size for him. <laughs> for Jack. Yeah. I did my version of Stingy Jack. He's That's carrying good. a little turnip. So I don't get it. Why is it a, like a turnip and not a pumpkin? Because we definitely do pumpkins. They always, I mean, I feel like that's always the case where it's like always the wrong fruit, you know? Because yeah. we call it like like pumpkin pie, but yeah. it's like it's like butter squash or some right. shit like that. Like it's not actually pumpkin. Okay. I'm reading ahead so I can make sure I can say words. <laughs> Did you ever do that in school? <laughs> Oh my god! Did I ever read ahead to try and yeah, like, like if you're you ever take, doing like, popcorn breath- reading? <laughs> no, for real. Like yeah, if I, I knew I was gonna have to read, I'd look ahead and I'd be like, okay, how do I read? How do I um, how do I pronounce that? Yeah, yeah. On an average day in Fruta, Colorado, Lloyd Olson and his wife Clara were killing chickens, casual, one evening. For a Sunday dinner. The chopping had always gone smoothly, but something strange happened this evening. One of the chickens fell into the dirt after its decapitation and its and the open head wound quickly cauterized. Cauterized. Nice. Thank you. Good job. The chicken got up and began stumbling around, now visionless, but very alive. Lloyd Olson looked on in bewilderment at the headless bird that now began clumsily bumping into the walls of his barn. Lloyd took the bird into his home and caged it for its own safety, but the bird did not die. Hours passed and then days. Is that possible? Okay. (laughs) Hours passed and then days. The chicken had miraculously recovered from its beheading Recovered <laughs> like it grew, okay, and could be fed through an eyedropper with a liquefied cornmeal that Lloyd had con- conco- concocted. I was cocking that. Lloyd found in the bird a golden opportunity using him to win bets in the local bars and taverns. Lloyd named the headless chicken Mike. What a stupid name. <laughs> And took him on tour around the country. People watched in shock and awe, and Lloyd became a very successful man. Mike lived for 18 months before he passed, and the town of Fruta still celebrates his life to this very day. Wow. Yeah. That's a. I read the 18 months, and I was like, how, how long do chicken, chickens usually live? But also, it was headless. Spooky! Spooky! Do you believe in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah. No. No, I don't. Do you believe in ghosts? I I don't. I feel like, like I want to, you know? Yeah. Everybody has, like, an experience. Everybody who does believe in ghosts says that they have an experience with it. Yeah. 
And they always sound convincing and real from their perspective. Yeah. But like every strange happening that's ever happened in my life, I feel like I've been able to easily uh, justify. justify. Yeah. There's been maybe one weird thing that's happened even just recently that yeah. I've been able to actually explain. Um, and it was uh, one of our me and Cullen were downstairs watching Game of Thrones and um, we hear this like on the on the ground and everything and we look over and a light fixture from our kitchen had like fallen onto the ground and we were like looking at it and we were like what the he how did this even happen and everything <laughs> and then as we're looking up another light fixture drops what and we're like we're like, uh, okay. <laughs> but then we just went to go watching Game of Thrones again. And yeah. I just chalked it up to our light fixtures suck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. I sometimes get the feeling that my house is haunted because I, every time I shower, you know how like the mirror gets foggy? Mm -hmm. It looks like someone wrote down like a Bible verse and I've cleaned that mirror over and over and it always comes back. Do you know what the Bible verse is? Or like? No, but someone on my... I have like a little Twitter community. Someone has fi found out which one it is. Because oh. one of the more clear words is abuse. And apparently they only say abuse in the Bible like two or three times. Huh. So it was pretty easy to find. I would love to see what Bible verse you have yeah. written down on your mirror. Because that's weird as fuck. I drew... What I did drew, you draw? I drew a cock. All right, it was a great stream. <laughs> I'll show you. Thank I'll show you so you. much for joining for the. I have, <laughs> I have a little, a little before and after. Oh my no, no. god! All right, show it off. Little, we've got a little before and after with an actual cock, and then a different cock uh, up in the corner as well. Just a, a lot of variety. Well, anyway, this was great. Thank you for having me. Do you want to plug your stuff? Um. Yeah, where can I charge my phone? Thank you. That's the joke of the year. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my name is Jojo Solos. Um, that's it. You can find me anywhere with that. Um, unless it's Twitter and you got to type an I instead of an L. Jojo Soyos. <laughs> Jojo Soyos. You can still find me if you type Jojo Solos, though. So yeah. I'm kind of different like that. Thanks, guys. Uh, every Friday we're going to do this unless there's like a specific game release or something like that. Uh, I want to hang out, um, do this with some of my good friends. We'll have Jojo on again at some point <laughs> next week. We're going to do it with Cullen, uh, my roommate. No. Yes. Wait, yeah. I got to be in the first one before your own roommate. That's amazing. Yeah. Kind of. Cullen's not going to let me live that one down, actually. No. And I'll, I'll live it up. Bye, guys. Thanks for, uh, th thanks for, th thanks for, uh, thanks for, um, thank you for, um, so, uh, thank you, um, let me know when I'm off screen. Thank you. Thank you for, uh,